Hello, welcome to What the Flick. Christy and Matt, we are still here and we're talking about trailers now. Um, there's a bunch of new trailers that came out this week, including one for Papillon, which maybe is a remake of the 1973 Steve McQueen, Dustin Hoffman film. Maybe it's also based on the novels, the, um, the memoirs of this legendary French crook. Right. French safe cracker. Safe cracker, who he says was framed for murder, uh, was locked away in prison in French Guiana, uh, and then some people are like, well, that didn't actually happen to him. It's inspired by a true right. story. Take a look. You are the property of the penal administration of French Guiana. There's no way off. There's always a way. I know many of you are thinking about escape. This is your best chance. Feel free to try whenever you like. I need to go with you. There are two guardians who are always on duty. Bush, but the best thing that can happen to you is starvation. Or you could choose to see. What's it good for? That's my friend. Where the sharks were always hungry. If you manage to survive your first attempt, you'll get two years in solitary. Second attempt, you'll get a life sentence at Devil's Island. Strange things happen there, especially to those who cling to hope. Charlie Hunnam, his shirt is off. It could be a drinking game. You give the people what they right. want. So you have seen the original Papillon and you are a fan of it? Uh it's all right. Okay. It's all right. I've seen. I haven't seen it for probably fifteen years. But mm -hmm. yeah, the original Steve McQueen, Dustin Hoffman. It's you know, it's a solid adventure movie when it actually keeps moving. But it's a big early seventies would be epic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of got that tone of you know. You definitely see the new Hollywood influence there. Mm -hmm. It pretty good performance from McQueen and pretty good performance from Hoffman. I think this could be good. You know, it's it, when they pitch this as a true story though. It's a little bit of like. How well, do you know? Well, it's like, okay, sure, it's based on the true story of the guy who claims that all this happened uh -huh. to him, but there's a lot of doubt. He's a crook. But I, I'll give it a shot, sure. I right. like Robbie Malek. I'm still convinced he and Bruno Mars are the same person. They but. are not the same person, and uh, you never see him in the same place at the same time, though. Yeah, Robbie Malek, between this and playing Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody, and uh, all the accolades he's gotten from Mr. Robot is kind of on a roll, yeah. Charlie Hunnam, you know, he takes chances and he uses his fame and his hunkiness to maybe defy expectations and work with directors you might not expect, like Guillermo del Toro and James Gray. So this is more adventurousness from Charlie Hunnam. Um, we also have a trailer for Damsel from another actor who has uh, taken his fame and used it to work with interesting directors. This time, Robert Pattinson working with the Zellner brothers in Damsel. Take a look. She's the most precious thing in the whole world. This is a big commitment. It's last long. Last long commitment. And there's no turning back now. Oh no, it, it's never too late to turn back. Here's the plan. I'm bending knee, I'll ask her to be my wife. And then you, you do your, uh, your ceremony. Marriage is a big jump. It's hard. And things don't always go the way you want them to. Guess that's what it boils down to. Are you really a preacher? Not in the conventional sense, but my heart's in the right place. You gave him mixed signals. I gave you no signals! If you're gonna go on questioning the validity of my feelings, then you can go to hell. You're a regular black widow, ain't you? Things are gonna be lousy in new and fascinating ways. You always said the miniature horse was the cutest, most beautiful creatures you've ever seen. I never said that. Yeah, speaking of Charlie Hunnam, Robert Pattinson co-starred with him in The Lost City of Z. Here he is once again, taking chances. Um, the Zellners make really weird little movies. Um, they might be best known for, um, what's it called? Kamiko the Treasure Hunter, did yeah. you see that? That was a weird little movie with yeah. Rinko Kikuchi. So their movies are quirky. You gotta kinda stick with them to get on their vibe. But if you do, it can be a trip and a blast. Yeah, I'm excited for <laughs> this you. movie. I <laughs> I flipped on Robert Pattinson after seeing The Rover. Okay. Uh, he's terrific in that. That was the movie he set in Australia a few mm -hmm. years ago that uh, was also stars Guy Pearce. Um, you know, he I think he gets a little bit of a bad rap for having been in the Twilight movies. But I think he's used that ability, that the money from that, and kind of the standing, mm -hmm. in to kind of pick 
things he's interested in, and I think he's capable of really great work. And just based on the trailer alone, I think you're seeing something really interesting in him. Right. So I'm really excited to see this film. He doesn't get to do comedy too often. Like when he has used his clout to do interesting, challenging stuff, it's something like Good Time, where it's it's dark and it's disturbing and like darkly funny, but not a flat out quirky comedy. And this looks pretty quirky. Right and silly and playful. And Mia Vashakovska is always good in everything. She's just enormously versatile. And that is David Zellner, one of the Zellner brothers who wrote and directed this. He plays the, the parson. He's the preacher, kinda. So that could be a lot of fun. Um, that played at Sundance and it got great reviews out of there. So that's coming out at the end of June. So we'll talk about that when that comes out. And then next up for you, we have, ooh, Wildlife, which also played at Sundance and got amazing reviews. It is Paul Dano's directorial debut. Take a look. I'm He's been out of work before, and he always finds his way. Down deep inside of me. You said your love was true, and we never, ever part. Even though you hurt me like nobody else could ever do. If you've got a better plan for me, tell me. I would never. I'll try it. Ever. Maybe it'll be better than this. This is currently at 100% on the tomato meter. It got just absolute raves, and apparently Paul Dino has been paying attention to the great directors he's worked with over the years, like Paul Thomas Anderson, and uh, really picked up a lot along the way. He's got a great eye here. Supposedly, Carrie Mulligan is amazing. Supposedly, it's the best work of her career, hmm. and that's a career that includes that's like saying an education and never let me go and shame, and she takes risks and makes interesting choices, and so I'm looking forward to this. The first yeah. thing I ever caught her in, honestly, is a uh, episode of Doctor Who, oh. uh, back in the De David Tennant years, oh, uh, when they introduced the um, the statues, the Weeping Angels. Look that one up if you've never seen it. She's terrific in that. Uh, what year did that come? That out? was a, a well a while back. Okay. Uh, I am intrigued by the actor Ed Oxenbold in who this. Who's the kid? Who's the kid who was in Alexander and the Terrible, No Good, oh. Very Bad Day, or Terrible, Horrible, No, no good, good, Very Bad. Very bad. Day. Because yes. when I'm watching, I'm thinking, Paul Tano cast his little brother in this. It looks like, like him, doesn't looks it? A lot. It's kind of like, like Paul Dano. Standin, yes. And so um, Paul Dano and Zoe Kazan co-wrote this. They have been together for a long time off screen. They co-starred in a movie called Ruby Sparks, which was very cute and very charming, which Zoe Kazan wrote, and they co-starred in together. So uh, it's always sort of interesting when you have, you know, a, a romance with people who are right. involved off screen. But so the, they wrote it, and um, they seem like interesting, smart, folks right? Make I, interesting choices. I think this is going to be a, you know, again based on the advanced word. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see this one. You know, Jill Hall in these smaller movies is capable of putting in these great, mm -hmm. nuanced, quiet performances. Yeah. Uh, this looks like a movie that we you know, we say this. Having not seen it yet, Would but uh, you know, we'll say, hey, I bet this will get awards buzz come well, awards time. It's coming out in October, so yes, it yeah. is. It is primed for uh, for your consideration. So we will definitely talk about that when that comes out.